this is very easy, Ilyosha, because I don't sell Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu only. Очередная неделя на нашей телестройке. Какая? Да кто их считает? Мы же гуманитарии. Работы идут стахановскими темпами. Штукатурка сыплется. Деда осматривают свое владение. Сторонники физкультуры потеют и сбрасывают калории. Мужские раздевалки готовы. И пора задать Александру Фария пару вопросов, которые появились в комментариях к предыдущим сериям. Если большой клуб, если много людей в нем занимается, это не означает ли, что внимание каждому отдельно занимающемуся будет меньше? Зачем именно большой клуб? Actually, it doesn't mean that if we are a big club, we are gonna have less attention to our students because Ludus today is not only me. I know I am the face of Ludus, but we have many people working in Ludus. Uh, just for you to have an idea, Lucia, we are in 42 different cities, Ludus, in six different countries. So it does, I don't know everybody who is in Kazakhstan, in Aktau, I don't know everybody who is in Ludus, uh, uh, Volgograd, for example, but I know many of them, I know all our coaches, I'm in deep contact with them very often they talk to me in our social networks and I try to answer as much as I can but this cannot be a problem not to grow like oh not be able to know everybody by name of course it's impossible but uh, this would be like this if Ludus were only me Ludus today is bigger than me than Dada itself <laughs> and uh, uh, As this team of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that has 2,600 people all over the world today, it's an army. Uh, it deserves something big. If you have a house with lots of children, we need lots of room. And uh, but not only this, it's it's also because uh, it's a, it's a next step. We don't want to be only in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Ludus today is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yes, it's one of our key points. But Ludus is also uh, uh, boxing, is also uh, Muay Thai, is also... And after I leave, after I cannot work anymore, in many years I hope so, Ludus will continue with who comes after me. And not only about the business, but also about the, 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 the project itself. The projects to have people doing what they like, doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, doing uh, MMA, doing, uh, doing Muay Thai, because Russia loves martial arts. So we need a place where you can prepare well to fight, but not only to be pro. It's because you don't train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to compete. You train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because you like, because it's good for yes. you. Yes. And it's nice to train with people that compete. So we want the same here. We want people here preparing themselves in, uh, in weights area with a guy that competes in MMA, with a girl that competes in Muay Thai. And uh, we want everybody to have the best things of it because it's good for a self-esteem, it's self-defense, of course, all this blah 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 that we talk about martial arts. So uh, everything here is, is, is going to work in an holistic way. Holistic ways means uh, everything works together. If you want to train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, nice, but you can also uh, go to our dietologue and, uh, and make a diet so that you can get your weight for a competition. You can also do some weight lifting and power lifting so that you can get uh, stronger. You can also do with our functional trainers some cardio preparation so that you can fight one hour row without stop. So everything in the same place. You don't need to go from here to a CrossFit gym to prepare physically and all kinds of problems. Uh, we have people here that are doctors, people that are lawyers, people that are housewives that come here to train in Ludus Dome. And all of them understand this, that it's more than uh, sports. It's about well-being, about feeling okay. А уже в следующей серии Александр Фария расскажет нам подробно об источниках финансирования и о том, зарабатывает ли он на соревнованиях, и если да, то сколько. Человек в черных очках, в черном пальто, на большой дорогой машине завозит меня в лес. Это чем-то напоминает мне бандитские 90-е.